All right, so we are getting ready to walk into the Georgia Renaissance Festival. This is my first Renaissance Festival outside of North Carolina and the first Renaissance Festival that I have attended since the uh, COVID outbreak. Um, so I have not been to the Renaissance Festival since November of 2019. Definitely excited to check this out today. This is also the very first Renaissance Festival video that we are doing for the channel. So lots of, lots of exciting stuff going on here. All right, so we're here at the Georgia Renaissance Festival, just right through the gate. And one of the first things you see as you come in is this nice landscaped area. You've got a couple ponds, you've got some frog statues, some fountains, shooting water around, playing instruments. And this beautiful tree here in the background. Towards the front, there's an ATM machine because a lot of these places take cash. If you want beer, you're going to need cash, which is pretty typical of the Renaissance festivals. It's nicely greened, perfectly landscaped. Excuse me, sir. I don't want to get in your picture. Oh, you're you're fine. You'd be great to have in the picture. Perfect. Awesome. Yes. Perfect. Excellent, thank you. And I just love the cast at the Renaissance Festival. Lots of very talented, outgoing people who really make this a special event. Lots of shops you can buy your costumes for the Renaissance Festival. A lot of people dressed up here. Yeah. 
And this is the corkscrew tower. It's a wraparound slide. I have a feeling that girls are going to be enjoying this today. Great place for kids of all ages. Uh, as you can see there, this guy's having a blast. Awesome. I definitely love the landscaping here. Um, this does look a lot bigger and more developed than the Carolina Renfest, which is also awesome, by the way. Not trying to knock it, but this is a little bit different. It's nice and shady here as well. And over to our left, we've got our very first show stage. Uh, Birds of Prey. There's a coffee stand. And check out this photo op. It's called the Village Stops. That is just brilliant. Hold on, I'm going to walk around for a second. And here we have free juggling school. Looks like a juggling class. Oh no, sir. Another nice touch to this Renaissance Festival are these picnic tables with umbrellas. 
they're really going above and beyond here. Our Renaissance Festival takes place in uh, October, November, and it's absolutely brutal hot out there. There's very little say, but this is very nice. People in those days and time probably never And here we are coming across our first turkey legs, which I do not like turkey legs. But I'm going to hear the, the word turkey leg all over the place. Everywhere I go, anytime I say Renaissance Festival, turkey leg. Yeah. No, it's not about the turkey legs, it's about the beer. Uh, one thing I do love about the Carolina Run Fest is they have the pumpkin beer in the fall, which is awesome. But so many exciting things here. And as we walk away from the food court, we're going into another area. Uh, looks like there's just buildings all over this place, which is amazing. That's terrible. Like there's new line. And then people are asking her she Oh no. So they do not start serving alcohol until 12.30. I guess that explains why there wasn't a whole lot of cars. Parking lot was pretty nice. We were able to just walk right in. Uh, apparently you don't serve beer until 12.30, so that's probably why. Yes. Yeah, I always walk right into Carolina Rune Fest and grab a beer first thing. Not sure why they do that here. It could be a local law or something like that. Oh, and here are the privies. Anything will ever make you give up on humanity. It's the privies at a Renaissance Festival. Absolutely horrible, but I end up spending half the day there with all the beer that I drink. And this is interesting, it's a, it's a urinal. Unlike anything I've ever seen, you can just walk up to this thing and urinate right in it in front of everybody. Nice chewing tobacco spit here. Very interesting feature of this Renaissance Festival. And not only that, there are four sides. I have never seen a urinal like this. This is this is a. And what is a Renaissance festival without these man-powered rides? These are a blast. Some more shops, crafts, dresses, and more man powered rides. Some photo ups. Ah, 
Na schön scharf. And here's where the park starts to open up, as if it weren't already big enough. This is definitely a huge, huge, huge Renaissance Festival layout. Here's a pub where you can actually go in there and get your beer. I imagine at 12.30 that's going to be packed. Right across you've got camel rides. That's took talent. I don't care how abrasive you may or may not have thought that was, that definitely took talent. More food court action here. S'mores on a stick. Fried ice cream. All kinds of interesting stuff here. I'm probably not gonna eat too much here. I might grab a snack or something, but. There's the uh, the jousting yeah. tournament. Okay. Can't get over how big this place is. And it just seems like they have more places to buy food and drinks. Um, there's less crowds that may. Uh, have something to do with it. Everywhere you look, there's food and alcohol. And it looks like we've reached the back of the fair or the festival. Yeah. And we have a little swing area for the kids. There's another performance stage. I imagine this is where the acrobats perform. They wanna watch, this comes on it in eight minutes. All right, so we just got finished watching a show and my butt is sore from the seat, from the wooden bench. And now we're looking for some beer. It's gonna be fun. This is where the day starts to get really good.
Uh-oh. Oh, I love these guys. Sir, that's my belly button. You're fun. That's not my belly button. That's not my, definitely not my belly button. Don't do that again. Sir, try not to throw your back out. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing how fast the steroids wear off. I've got to wear it again. Two by four came out of nowhere. <laughs> Let's give that guy a hand. Ah, this is all me, the toy store. Oh man, here we go. We're gonna kick this thing off with some beer. There's the line. Oh, that's the line? Oh, <laughs> oh maybe not. That's a little deceiving. Good lord. I don't know if I wouldn't hear that bad. Wow. Yeah. Gear lines just open and they are just crazy long. So I think I might pass on the beer for now. I don't think any beers are standing in that kind of line for. Good lord. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Cold draft beer. Three magic words. All right, and we've got our first drink of the day. This is called Monk's Mead. As you can see, I've already drank almost half of it. Um, it's 12.5% alcohol, but it is like nine or eight dollars, eight dollars, I believe, just for this tiny little glass. It does taste really good. Um, so again, this is just our first drink of the day. I'm gonna go check out some more places here though. Oh, well. What do you want? All right. So this is the Drunk Monk Pub Pube. So we're going to the Pube. We're gonna go to the Pube. I love the Pube. The Drunk Monk. All right, so I'm here at First Aid. So this is a testament to the meads that are served at the Renaissance Festival. Be very careful. They found me sleeping on a park bench. They were nice enough to take me to First Aid. And here I am at First Aid getting first better. Aid. They're getting ready to take me back to my family. But be careful if you have those meads. You might end up in First Aid and uh, you might end up passed out on a bench. So uh, take it from me. Be very careful with those. Hey, thank you so much. No problem at all, man. Appreciate Anytime. it. Anytime. Appreciate it. Anytime. These guys here are great. Thank you. And here it is, the monk's mead that got me into lots of trouble here at the Georgia Renaissance Festival. I was passed out behind a dumpster on a bench outside of the park with no recollection at all of how I got there. I'm so thankful that security found me and brought me into first aid. If you ever see this anywhere, Buy as much of it as you can. All right, so we're hanging out with the uh, security crew here at the Georgia Renaissance Festival. They've done an amazing job keeping this place safe, keeping everybody safe here. We really appreciate it. Hey, thank you guys so much, man. Excellent work. This place is awesome. You got to come down and check it out.
And it looks like we have this pirate ship looking place. And is that the sight in up there? So this looks like a place that serves something, food, alcohol, over in the front. And there's a little deck where you can enjoy your alcohol or drink or whatever you get. Kind of cool. And so this park just keeps going. adventurer. I was what they called a drummer. And as a drummer, I didn't get much attention at all. I was always behind everybody. So I decided to go out and secure 35 bells, individually, each cast in bronze, weighing over four tons. That's close to 9,000 pounds. And you can ask my neighbors, I'm getting lucky. And look what we found here. It looks like a gnome village. A nice little creek. A couple of houses. Oh, this is cool. And I love the lights that they have in the background. And there's more of the nice seating, picnic tables with umbrellas so people can sit in the shade, enjoy their food. That is just incredible. That is an incredible instrument. That is a one-man show of extraordinarily musical talent. Cast in bronze. And here's the Sea Dragon Ride. Man powered ride for the kids. I believe this is one of the farthest ends of the park of the festival, whatever you want to call this.
And we're just walking around. Checking out all the shops. Looks like there's a lot more clothing stuff. And if you're a man and you're not too ashamed to wear a dress out in public, this is the store for you. A roguish Highlander. Kilts and accessories. We were at the far, far, far end of the park. Wishing well winches. Good, clean, fun. Wet, dirty women. Awesome. Not sure if this is another show. Oh, I guess it is. The Curse of the Mummy, Atlanta Mobile Escape Room. Here's the ghost of the Abyss Haunted House, 13 story haunted house. Very cool. Well, when I'll, why doesn't Lola just go and they'll say, Stella, you go with Lola. How about that? Like we always do. And that's fine. I want She's you to have fun. She's complaining that she, because she doesn't want us to go in there because she doesn't want to go in there. Well, I'll go in there. I don't think it would take that long. I'll just hang out with Belly Pie. I mean, if you're not going to go, Belly, you can't Live entertainment. Where's the curse of the money? Why don't you guys go? All right, so this is a renaissance style cabin, everybody having fun. So we filmed this little place to sit and chill towards the end of the park. It's right by the escape room they just did. It's actually the fairies? on the other side of the escape room trailer, the movable or escape room. We're just hanging out. It's a five minute escape room. Um, a five minute escape room. And, I mean, there is a person in there to help you. Well, I've never done an escape room, so I think you probably helped me along more than I needed to. So, anyway. We had fun. Lola liked it, right? Lola liked it, right? was terrified. Put yourself on camera. There, I'm on camera. So here's my little hangout spot that we found right beside the escape room. Get to chill out without my mess. What's my new nickname? Megadork. Megadork. I'm Megadork. It's my new nickname, Megadork. They nicknamed me Megadork. You, you can't love with that. Like That's actually carrying, pretty good. You're carrying like a phone stick on, with a phone and like a Talking microphone Talking to yourself. Thing. You're literally dorky. 
Like a dork. But they also said you're adorkable. I'm adorkable? I'm adorkable. Well, thank you, honey. Watch this. <laughs> oh, look. Another trip to the privies, and someone was nice enough to leave a dirty diaper just laying right at the foot of the urinal. Is this a gift left at the altar for the privy gods? I can't help but think that there is a deeper meaning behind this. They just rolled this diaper up and left it right at the base of the urinal for someone else to deal with, for someone else to step over. Just look at this. All right, so this is the walk back from the end of the festival. We're going back for more beer. Um, there's some canned beer that I was uh, told about, so we're gonna possibly get into that. Oh, oh, what is this? It's Merlin. Merlin. A magician. Oh, look, it's like these troll things, and there's like birds and cats and monkeys and shit. Is there what? Oh, we need one of these in our life. We need one. That's cool. You should see the monkey video that we have. It's great. <laughs> From Alligator Adventure. Wonderful. Yes. All right, we're gonna have this. Thank you. Alright, so I'm here with my friend Rody. Rody was awesome. Um, he's a friend of the channel. Thank you, I appreciate you. And uh, we look forward to seeing you hanging out, hopefully, 
You're a great guy, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Rody, my good friend Rody here. It's been an honor. Thank you. Thank you. Likewise, my friend. All right. So we are on our way out of the Renaissance Festival. This has been an absolute blast. Georgia really knows how to do it up. This has been a party like no other. I cannot wait to come back next year. Next year, I am going to be a little bit easier on those meads. Those meads got me into a little bit of trouble today, but thank you so much to the security team who looked out for me and who took care of me when I was passed out on a bench behind the dumpster. Um, I really do appreciate it. Hello. Um, the Georgia Renaissance Festival has been an amazing experience. I cannot wait for the Carolina Renaissance Festival. I will be covering that as well. Big thanks to everyone here. We're at the gates. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn this camera around so you can check out the fam in front of the, uh, the festival. This has been one heck of an experience, for sure. Lots of memories, lots of stories to tell. Here we are again, one last look at the entrance of the Renaissance Festival in Georgia. And again, this has just been a uh, phenomenal experience. I greatly do appreciate everyone here. Hopefully I'll find my fan before long. Uh, just look for the cowboy hats. I love this little pond as you come into the, into the festival though. It's just amazing. Great experience. Anyways, we're gonna head to the parking lot. I'm gonna give you some shots of the parking lot. Or you can pick up some festival souvenirs on your way out of the park. There you go. Thank you. Anyways, I'm really grateful for the experience that I've had. Everyone here has been just absolutely amazing. Very cool people. All right, Rody. Take care, my friend. Thank you so much. My friend Rody that I met here is awesome. Lots of great people. Everyone's been just insanely cool. Here's the fam. Diani. What well, um. Anyways, if you do get a chance, come down, check out the Atlanta or the Georgia Renaissance Festival. This is legitimately a great time. Great festival. The, the layout is just superb. Um, it's huge. A lot of stuff to do here. A lot of fun to be had. Hey, let's look at this parking lot here. One thing I like about this parking lot is it goes kind of sideways to the entrance. So no matter where you are, you got a relatively short walk. In the Carolina Run Fest, it's the opposite way. It's length. So you're going to have to walk the length of the parking space, the parking lot, to get to the festival. We'll show you all that here in a few months. But not a lot of cars left out here. There you go. 
just to give you a good idea what the parking's like. And guys, if you ever come to this festival, please watch out for the meat because that is no joke. The meat is no joke. They pour in small glasses, but it is no joke. Be careful, be safe. Thank you so much. We will see you on the next adventure. Bye everybody. Thank you.